All right, everybody, watch me work Wednesday. I'm going to go over today the way I make dips to black and white flashes. I think this is a uh, better, quicker way than um, a lot of other people do it. So, right, you have a dip to black. Some people can use uh, the dissolve key, okay? You can fade to dip to color, fade to color. You can make a white flash this way. Uh, you can dip to color. It automatically uh, goes to black, right? And you can change the time and the duration and the frames you want and all that stuff, right? If you want to make it a white flash, kind of annoying, but you've got to click on the effect editor and change the background color, right? Uh, am I able to do that? Because I re so rarely do this, I don't do it, right? So there we made a white flash. So here's the way I do it. The only time I ever use this, sometimes I will use dip to color. If I'm doing like a quick montage and I just want um, really quick cuts and I just want quick dips to black. It never happened. So, you know, really quick. I would add like, like six of these, right? And it would just be uh, dip to black, dip to black, dip to black. And then I'll do the dissolve, dip to color. Other than that, though, I'm going to always... Add a frame in between the cut and whatever my dip is and make one side and then I'll make the other side. So you may say to yourself, wow, that takes a little longer than doing a dip to black the other way. But I have much more flexibility, flexibility, if I can say that word right. Now I can move one, right? make yes. one dip never down, happened. make one dip long, make one dip up quick. Yes. It never happened. So that's the way I do dips to black. Even if you wanted to do a centered one and you know you wanted to do it at eight, eight frames and eight frames, again, I would do I would do it this way. Eight ending at the cut. Uh, that's the way I dip to black. I do not use the dip to color dissolve effect, like I said, unless I'm doing uh, dip to colors four frames each as a, an effect montage. All right, so that is dips to colors, dips to black. As far as white goes, I have in here, and I keep it in my effects bin, I have a title called white. And I'm going to use this whichever way I want to, right? Now I have complete flexibility without using the dip to color, dissolve, render, all that crap. Um, so here's a white flash here. And what do I have it I can tell how long it is right now it's a second let's say I only want it to be 10 frames and I want it to be dissolve out at 8 right so never okay there's my white flash happened. there's my very quick white flash if I want it to be 4 frames I could actually even I dare I just extended it that's a really quick white flash uh, one of my favorite white flash effects is something to go up dips up to white and down right so let's say I go 10 frames back and now I can also go into effect editor and I can keyframe the white up and down right so uh, I could start with a three-day warp and the foreground key zero full back to zero I put a nice little symbol sound effect on this and I got one this right one night right so this gives me so much more flexibility to me. White flash, dips to black. Don't necessarily do it in the dip to color. You saw the two ways I just did it. That is Watch Me Work Wednesday, avidbeer.com, and I'll see you in the next video. Some people think Avid is really hard to learn, but that is not the case, and now there's an online course to prove it. Get all of the info and all of the details at avidbeer.com.